everyone. My name is Zakia Ringle, checking in from LiveSoapSchool.com. I want to send a special hello to all of you that are a part of Soap Nation, as well as our hashtag Baraka Clan. No matter where you are watching, we are very excited to have you here. Be sure if you're catching this like after we are live, that you leave us a comment. Let us know what you think about the live stream, if you try it what you think, all of that stuff is kind of important. But if you have never been here with me before, I know Chantel has, so I'm gonna bring her up and say hello. Thank you for joining me. Um, if you have not already, or you know, as you come in, tell a friend to tell another friend by sharing the broadcast out. Of course, we love your thumbs up, and we also love your hearts, your follows, all of those things that you do. So this is going to be a really fun here. Let me switch you guys because we're kind of. Hello there, Laura from California. Hello, Laura. Very happy to have you here. So this is one of those um, broadcasts that a couple of you have asked me to do in terms of what alternatives to milk do we have? Because a lot of people have asked me about goat milk soap, um, um, buttermilk soap. And so this we are actually using an oat milk that we are going to be making ourselves as well as coconut milk to make the soap. So um, it's a very simple process. You know, I always take you guys over to the soap cam so you get a chance to see how it all kind of comes together. Um, Chantel is saying, how are you? I'm normally on Periscope. Well, it doesn't look like we got our Periscope up. So I might've did something incorrect. I'll check that in a little while. Oh, well, the numbers just shot up, so it must have finally landed on Periscope because our Perry peeps are now here. So again, I'm Zakia Ringgold, and if you are interested in learning how to make your very own oat milk, we'll be doing that. And you can use oat milk as a replacement. So Damiana, hello, Soap Nation. Thank you for checking in. Now, before I continue, I do need to let the original Soap Nation group know that we did have a loss in Soap Nation. I don't know how many of you remember Dee Best. Um, she was fighting cancer for quite a while and she has re she has passed away. And um, she was one of the very first people to say, I met her on Periscope. Um, a lot of you know her. She was the one that would cheer on any entrepreneur in any broadcast to just keep going and going and going. So I just want to take a moment um, to remember her. Um, she is no longer in pain. She had fought cancer. Uh, she fought the battle twice and then went into remission one more time. And so she is no longer here, but she is now at rest. Um, she ha doesn't have to fight anymore, and she's flying very, very high. So, D best to you. Um, thank you for all of your words of encouragement, for being a never-ending part of Soap Nation, and I will miss seeing your little bubble come up on the screen. Um, and everyone is sending you rest in peace condolences to her family. Um, know that you are in our thoughts and our prayers. My cousin actually told me about it. So I felt like I needed to say that for a lot of you that have been around for the last three years. Um, I get used to seeing those bubbles come up across the top and I kind of know who you are. So like when Damiana comes in and says, hey, Soap Nation, it's like, oh, hey, Damiana. It's like she's sitting right across from me. So knowing that I'm not going to get a chance to see D Best come up anymore, um, had me thinking for a moment. So Chantel is saying, may she rest in peace. Laura is sending condolences and we can hear me and see me loud and clear. So I am going to now take you guys over to the soap cam. Somebody put in hashtag soap cam because you know that's where we're going. Um, hey, hey, Ali, how are you? So we are going to be making our very own oat milk, guys. And oat milk it is just made by make um, combining water and oatmeal, but we have to finely ground these oats, okay? So I'm going to move this off to the side, and we're going to have a little bit of magic of television. Erica is saying hashtag soap camp. Thank you guys for participating. 
Bam. Hashtag soap cam to all of you. Thank you guys for participating. You're pretty cool. Hello, Herbert. How are you? I'm so glad you got your soap and you loved it. Herbert went the extra mile when he got his order, guys. Not only, let me bring you up on camera because number one, I felt extremely special. He sent me an email saying thank you. So before I even said, hey, can you send us a review? He was like, I got my stuff. So thank you for your order, my friend. And Vanta is saying hashtag soap cam. So let's get on into the soap cam. So in order to make our oat milk, we're going to start with one cup of oatmeal. You can use any oatmeal that you want, except the instant kind, because that'll give you a little bit of a slimy residue. We don't like slime. We want a milk, right? All right, so you will use a coffee grinder. Let me tell you, here's, here's a very interesting story. You know, back in the days before electronics and all that other stuff, I, I thought it would make a good Instagram picture and all this to use a mortar and pestle to grind up my oats. After about 20 minutes of me grinding with the mortar and pestle, and I had about maybe a quarter of a cup of the oats, I switched over. I said, I'm not doing that anymore. So this is only for photo ops. The pestle is somewhere. I'm not sure if this part is the mortar or the pestle, but if you don't have a coffee grinder, you can use a mortar and pestle to grind up your oats. All right. And so what we're going to do is we're going to pour one cup of our oats right into our little Cuisinart here. And I love this. This came with my stick blender. And the horrible thing about it is whenever I'm live, I can never get this thing to attach. Oh, look at that. It attached for me. And what this does is it will, it has a blade on the inside and it will quickly grind up the oats. Now, you guys probably don't want to hear this, so I will mute my microphone and you guys can watch. Okay, I'm over here dancing, and you guys can't hear the music of all of this, but it's kind of loud, so I turned the microphone off. But Chantel said her mom had one to crush up meds. Yeah, a lot of people will use a mortar and pestle to grind up fresh herbs. Um, yeah, primarily herbs, but also for medicine. So this grinds it very quickly with a couple of presses of this button here. Right there, bam. We now have our oats freshly ground. And so our stick blender does two things. It mixes up our soap and it crushes up our oats. <laughs> Heard those bars? Like to hear them? Here they go. All right, so then what we do is we take that off and you can see that they have gone from the oats to a little more ground. And the reason why we ground them is so that the water can go through them a little bit easier Normally, you would let the oats sit for about 24 hours um, in the water so that you can get as much of the oats, or maybe not 24, two to four hours um, to allow them to sit. So what we're going to do is we're going to put these back into our mason jar. You can use any glass jar that you have without making a mess, which I probably will. And then we slowly get them in there. And so if you guys know, oatmeal, particularly for the skin, is a great exfoliant. Now, I do have a bar that is our crushed oats and honey, and I don't make an oat milk with that. I actually put the raw oats into the soap. And that way you get a nice little scratchy feel. But by using the oat milk instead, it's a really, really smooth consistency in the soap. And those properties of the oatmeal end up in the bar still. So it's a really good way. And some people like to use almond milk. You can use oat milk the same way. So you can use it on your cereal, um, wherever, in your coffee. So it's a plant-based alternative to not getting it all over the table. 
to your animal products. And you knew we love a plant-based product. All right, so I tried and get as much of that off as possible. So now that we have that, for one cup of water, are you guys okay? Because it looks like I lost you a little bit, but hopefully it's coming through. You guys can give me a one in the comments to let me know that we're still here. For every cup of oatmeal that you're, you're using, you're going to use three cups of water, which I have already measured out inside of here. So we're going to pour that right on top of the oats. Look at that. And it's the perfect amount to fill up our little bit. Laura, Jean, Praise Igniter, thank you for letting me know we have still got a signal. So what you're going to do is you're going to put, I put a coffee filter over the top because we're going to need that in order to strain it out. And then we put our lid on like so. And you're going to allow your oat milk or your oats and water to sit for two to four hours. Hey, chocolate girl, you're going to allow this to sit for two to four hours and all of the ingredients from that oatmeal are going to end up in the water. And I'm, I'm already starting to spill it, as you can see. And you're going to strain it out so that you don't actually get the oats as well. So I'm going to show you guys. We're going to pretend that it's been two to four hours. That was definitely not enough time. If you want, before you put your cheesecloth on, what you could do, and I'll do that, or your coffee filter. I just use a coffee filter. What you can do is you can put your lid on. And you're going to shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, 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 shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, 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 up. Oh, oh, oh. EJ, hey, I need soap product basket for the black tie. Oh, yeah, you want to do a giveaway? A raffle? Guys, EJ is hosting a black tie tailgate gala. It is going to be fantastic. It is going to absolutely love and life. Hello there. How are you? All right, so we're still shaking and shaking and shaking and shake, shake, shake. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right, but you get it. And this is now turning into an oat milk. Just like that. Now, you're going to, for soap purposes, because, you know, we're on the soap can. We got to talk about soap. For your soap purposes, you are going to strain that out. And we're going to use our oat milk in place of the water for our lye solution. So let me grab another coffee filter and I'm going to also grab um, what we need. So for that, I'm going to take you guys to a commercial break really quickly. You guys ready? No, that's not what we want. Is that guys, I tested it earlier so I knew how it was going. Or subscribe, depending on whatever platform you're on too much. tomorrow and remember guys that polysorbate is what's going to Watching this. 
guys, we're back. So I had to do like the magic of television to go and get our stuff. But if you missed our last live stream, our last DIY Thursday, they were the bath bomb cupcakes that we did with frosting. You first sight snuck on in there while I was about to go to commercial break. Thank you so very, very much for checking the bases and letting me know we're all good. So before I played that video, what I was doing was I was getting a new piece of coffee filter, which is this one here. And then I also got our pre-mixed lye solution. So what we're going to do, once you have let your oat milk sit for about two hours, what you're going to do, we're back live, Jan. I know, it's like, wait a minute, why am I watching a video? I needed a commercial break, so I put a video in there. It's kind of, that's what I do. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to pour our oat milk. It's going to go slow because I doubled up, doubled up. Maybe I shouldn't double doubled up. I'm thinking that I shouldn't have doubled up, guys, because it's like dripping slow as heck. But I felt like it was going to pierce through with one coffee filter. Hold on. Let's see. I think two coffee filters was too much. I think you can get it better with one. Hmm. Guess I better get a cheesecloth. Come on out, Gina. I'm going to bust it. Are we back? Are you guys still able to see me? Look how slow that's coming out. Dear God, save us. Oh, there's a delay. Come on. We're not sitting here and doing this all night. So as soon as somebody tells me that we're back live, I'll, I'll finish this. Finish him. I got you on Twitter. Audio and video are fantastic. Okay, whatever. All right, so as you can see, we got a very small amount of that. We probably need either a knee-high would probably be very, very well. Um, yeah, because that's a little too thick to come on through. Hey, Carmelia, how are you? The bottom line is you want to allow your oats to sit in here. For at least two hours so all of those nutrients from the oats get into the water yes I don't have a sieve though I ripped it the last time um I do have a funnel I know you guys don't want another commercial break however you are so awesome thank you Jim Craig um so I have to well maybe I'll do it um is that Jimmy Hey, hey, how you doing? How you doing? Um, you and you are dynamically doing it on YouTube. Much love. <laughs> much love, much respect. All right, so you're going to get your oat milk and you're going to use that oat milk in place of your regular distilled water. And with that, you're going to make your lye solution. This is the magic of TV, guys. Pretend like we waited 24 hours. This is oat milk in our lye solution. Oh yeah, good to see you live. So we have that, it's mixed up. And now because we have our lye solution, what do we have to do? Put on our goggles, cause we need our eyes. We need our eyes and we need our hands. And we also have our oils. There is one oil that I have not added in here. To this, we have 6.7 ounces of coconut oil. 1.7 ounces of shea butter from Baraka shea butter, of course, and then 4.93 ounces of palm oil. I also have some influ infused, infused calendula olive oil, guys. And calendula is naturally antibacterial and anti-inflammatory. So we're getting all of those properties in our oils, in our soap, to make it fantastic. Hi, Drea, and our condolences to you um, with the loss of your father. Um, bases ran and you are good everywhere. So I need to measure out the last oil, which is going to be our calendula infused olive oil. Okay, so let's do that. Ugh. I should just love the magic of TV. The magic. And for that, we're going to have 8.96 ounces of olive oil. 
No, this is cold processed soap. If it was melt and pour, it, we wouldn't even be worried about the oils. We would be just cutting it up and melting it down. But we're doing it from scratch at this point. So we're going to measure out 8.9 ounces of our calendula infused olive oil. Oh, this is the part I hate. You're like 0.2 ounces. I went over a hair, just a hair, just a smidge. We went over just a smidge. Okay, I found you. Hello, Carla. Thank you for watching on YouTube. All of you that are watching, if you have not clicked that subscribe button or that follow button or the share button or the thumbs up or the emojis on Facebook, the wow one, do that. So Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Periscope, they all know that it's kind of cool. It looks golden. And it got that natural hue from the calendula. And that um, dyes the olive oil. So we have that. Now, guys, here's the thing. We're also adding coconut milk to this recipe, which means that um, it looks like dandelion, someone says. Send prayers and prayers. Laura is sending condolences to you, Drea. Um, and so we have all of our oils now in here. And a lot of you on the broadcast say, well, where can we get the recipe? The recipe will be made available within the next 24 hours. You'll be able to go to shore.b forward slash live soap school. It will be that very top link that says recipe. But for you that are watching and you're going to try this at home tonight, the recipe is 3.5 ounces of coconut milk, 5 ounces of oat milk, 3.2 ounces, that's not right, <laughs> 8.96 ounces of olive oil, 6.7 ounces of coconut oil, 1.7 ounces of shea butter, and 4.93 ounces of palm oil, and then finally, 3.2 ounces of lye. $49.99. That's all you're getting. $49.99. So let's talk about the addition of this coconut milk, guys. Because we are adding coconut milk to this, I am not using my stick blender to blend this up. Because it's going to move a little bit faster when we do our lye solution. Because right now, this is a very heavily concentrated lye solution. So I don't want to have any additional movement with the soap because I'm going to then be adding coconut milk to it. So we're going to go ahead and add this in just like that. And you guys are going to watch alchemy right before your very eyes. Science. Who knew that on social media you could learn science? Now, depending on how this behaves, um, or if it goes too slow, what I will do is I will pull out the big guns, also known as the stick blender. And what's going to happen is this is going to go from this really clear color to more of a mixture. Do you guys see how it's transforming to more of an opaque color? That's exactly what we want. And as soon as we get these completely blended together, we're going to go ahead and add in our coconut milk. And coconut milk is going to make this one of the most creamy batches of soap ever. Good afternoon and evening to everyone. Hello, Lorraine. Your sister has been here for quite some time. Very good to have you, my friend. If you are watching and you have not said hello yet, what are you doing? Say hello so I know that you are here. And as you can see, this is starting to get a little bit thicker. It's definitely not mixed yet. This is the way that they used to make soap back in the day before they had stick blenders. They would stand over a pot using a spatula or a whisk and just stir, stir, stir. And the reason I'm doing it this way is I was expecting it to move a little bit faster than what it is. And I wanted to have time to add the coconut milk in there. So while that's doing that, we're going to stir a little bit more. And I'm going to go ahead and add in our coconut milk. Hello, Lisa. How are you? Brenda is saying hi. Well, welcome, people. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Very happy to have you here. So there is our coconut milk. 
So we have just added, I mean, this is going to be such a creamy, creamy soap. It'll still lather beautifully because of the combinations of oils that we use. But somebody asked, oh no, as soon as I spoke, it started glitching. <gasps> is it my connection? My whole house is on Wi-Fi. So I'm hoping that that gets fixed. The hot process method. Miriam, you know, I have done hot process. I kind of feel like it's whatever method you start with is the one that you're probably going to stick to. And I started with the cold process method. I started making soap in 2015. Now I've done hot process, I've done melt and pour, but time and time again, I find myself coming back to the cold process method. Um, I, there's something about watching it go through the stages really slowly and then just kind of not having to worry about the crock pot. Um, what a beautiful color. Now Jan, we're also going to be, at, we're going to add some additional colors. I want to buy the whole batch. I want to, <laughs> Jimmy says, I want to buy the whole batch. I want to keep my skin soft and sexy. You sexy thing, yo, right? All right, so we're going to be adding some infused annatto seed oil. This is olive oil and you can kind of see the annatto seeds at the bottom. It's going to give our soap a beautiful amber color. The great thing about this, and you only need about a teaspoon of it and it'll color the entire batch of soap. Um, the nice thing is it's 100% natural. You do yours in a turkey roaster. I thought you were making soup. No soup for you. This is the soap broadcast. Most people think that you are not alone. So I'm just stirring and I think I am going to pull out the stick blender just so I can move it a little faster. But as you can see, it has gotten a, quite a bit thicker, but it's still not completely emulsified or at a trace just yet. So happy to, Kavrina, I am so happy to have you here live. Guys, this has been such an amazing journey and experience. I started live streaming in 2015 and have not looked back since. Um, I've recently started like taking YouTube seriously. It's like, oh, uh, well, you know. Before, I would use YouTube just to embed videos on my website, but um, a lot of people are saying, well, why aren't you on YouTube? That's like the video platform. And so I've started using YouTube a little bit more. So Kevrina, I'm glad I have because now I get a chance to meet you live. And then all of our Perry peeps are getting a chance to meet our Facebook peeps. Still haven't really done Instagram live too much on here, but you know, baby steps. All right, I'm going to grab our stick blender because I don't want to, like, I mean, we've been here for a minute, so, yeah, we're at 28 minutes, guys. We're almost done. So, I just want to get this a little bit thicker, a little bit thicker now, mm, a little bit thicker now, but welcome, Kavrina, welcome. All right, so, let's... <laughs> All right, that's the consistency we're after. We want it like a pudding consistency. But, you know, if you're not live, this is what I always say. If you're not live streaming to a population of, it says 96 of you watching, and you're kind of in your own zen moment, this gives you a chance, like as you're stirring, I would not stir a really large batch, guys. I would not hand stir a batch larger than two pounds. Um, However, what I would do is you kind of get into a little bit of a meditative Zen state. And yes, you can, Drea. And so I'm going to just pour in, I'm eyeballing it. This is not the right way to do that. You should use a, a teaspoon. You only need about one to two teaspoons of this. And it's going to naturally change the color of our soap. You guys see that? It's going, to, it's going to give it more of an amber tint. And the beauty of using an infused olive oil, again, is that your soap remains 100% natural. 
100, 100, 100, 100. <laughs> All right. I think I need just a little more. Yeah, I want to do a little more. Oh, that's a lot more. Uh, that's when you don't want to freehand it so much like I just did. And we're going to stick blend it to make sure it's all blended and we don't have pockets of uncolored soap. into the mold and allow it to sit for 24 hours really sleepy been up to over 24 hours well thank you for making us your nightcap have a great night Chantel all right so we're going to go ahead and pour this in and I want you guys to look at this consist look at that imagine all of those butters and oils what you are using on your skin, guys. I cannot stress this enough. What you put on your skin goes into your skin. It is our largest organ, guys. The largest organ that we have. So it's so important that you are cognizant and conscious of what it is that you're using, how it's made, and that it's wholesome ingredients. And this is a 100% plant-based recipe that you can make with just a few ingredients. Who doesn't have oatmeal? Who doesn't have coconut milk? Um, your tech skills are next level. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and I hope you guys join me for a Tech Talk Tuesday because I'm still looking for the ultimate planning solution. I think I have got it by George. I think I have got it. I think we may be there. So... As you can see, it'll just get thicker and thicker and thicker, which is known as the saponification process. So I'm gonna tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it. And the camera, now hopefully the camera does not fall into the batch of soap. And what you can do at this point, take yourself a little chopstick. I go to my favorite, can we get back to the recipe? I'm so sorry, Lisa. The recipe, in case you guys are wondering, let's give you a full rundown of the recipe. First things first, your lye solution. You're going to need five ounces of oat milk and 3.2 ounces of sodium hydroxide, which is the lye. After that, you're going to need your oils, which are 8.9 ounces of, ounces of olive oil. I feel like a teacher, right? Um, 6.7 ounces of coconut oil, 1.7 ounces of shea butter, 4.9 ounces of palm oil. You're going to pour your lye solution into your oils, mix those up, and to that, you are going to add 3.5 ounces of coconut milk. You can leave it as is. I just wanted to change the color of my soap just a little bit. So I use some infused um, annatto seed olive oil to give me more of an amber color, which is not showing up so great on here because the color is there. Um, Nikki is saying that it's snowing, but that's all you need. And then we have Jamil checking in saying, well, hello there, Zakia. Hello to you too. You can then take your chopstick or a fork or whatever you have, and you can kind of just make an imprint on your soap. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag over just to make like a little wave pattern right at the top. And I'm not taking it all the way over, just kind of to the side. And then I'm going to come from the opposite way. Just like that. And that just takes it up a notch. It doesn't look so plain, Jane. Boring. And that's it. 
Hey, Zali, how are you? So I'm hoping that you all have enjoyed this broadcast. If you are brand new and you have never, ever, ever been here with us before, I'd like to welcome you into Soap Nation. If you're watching on Team Baraka, whether that be Australia, Philippines, Mexico, Canada, or Ghana, hello. I am so happy to have you here. I will give you a close-up shot in this here is the recipe that will be on the blog. You can get that later. And this is our oat milk and coconut milk soap. I hope you all have a great night. And what about the air bubbles? We did do a tap. We did that tap, tap, tap where the camera was shaking. That eliminates the air bubbles. If you do have air bubbles, it's just aesthetic. Lisa, thank you for getting me back on track. Like, listen, lady, can we get back to the recipe? Um, but I'm Zakia Ringgold of Live Soap School, where it is so much more than soap. I am honored that you are all here. Zully, first time here. Oh, shout out for the first time. Mm, shout it out for the first time. Gorgeous, and thank you for sharing. And Kavrina, I do believe you could sprinkle just a little bit of coconut. How about we do that? And we'll call it the Jan the Jan special. I had, where's my, <laughs> we'll use our mortar and pestle, coke, I mean, um, oatmeal. So I'll just put some right along the side. You probably meant in the middle. That's probably not where you wanted me to put it. Here's the thing. When you put your oatmeal on there, this is what I learned the very first time I had did some lavender buds. Use your chopstick to kind of just push it ever so gently into the soap. Otherwise, when you go to cut it, it'll just fall off. So I just have them on the side. You probably meant down the middle. You can put it wherever you like, wherever you like. And then I'm just gonna take this and just use the chopstick and just push it so it's kind of hanging out inside the soap. And now this has become a Jan special oat milk and coconut milk. Oat and coconut milk soap. All right, now here's the final shot right there. I'm going to come on off camera and wish you all a beautiful, beautiful night. Bye, everybody.